don't know. There we go. Okay. Here we go with Spyro 3 and Ada. That's that's one that I want. Okay. Just wanna make sure. Evil plot unfolds. Taking some time. It has to unfold. You know? It's taking a long time to unfold. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this is really decent. I'm gonna restart my game. Because this is, uh. Get her! Stop her! Yeah, this is really desynced. Wow. I don't know if it's desynced on stream, but it is very desynced for me, which is not great. Well, let's see what. Let's see if this cutscene ends up being synced up. We managed to capture the eggs, your highness. Every last one. Excellent. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. That one was synced. I don't know. The first cutscene was just oddly unsynced. Oh well. Where are the eggs? The holes came out on the other side of the dragon worlds. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. The other side of the world? The Forgotten Realms. Spyro, you'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Yeah, come on, let's go! Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it! Sounds yeah. good. Also, why is Hunter in the Dragon Worlds? Why would he leave Avalar? I don't get it. We are here with Spyro 3. Good times. Good childhood memories. This is actually the first Spyro game that I completed entirely. But I haven't I actually didn't complete. I think I did beat Spyro 1 on the eventually did beat Spyro 1 on the PS1 version, but I never never went back to beat Spyro uh 
too. I almost did, but speedways when I was younger were very hard. Because I have these versions, I don't really... Per se have a reason to go back? I definitely could go back. Isabel. I forgot how derpy the dragons were. <laughs> These are some derpy dragons. I don't know. I remember when I first played this game and I saw the dragons, I'm like, hmm. Hi Spyro. To look left or right, use the right stick. To quickly center the camera behind you, tap the center camera button. You can also look all around by pressing the action button. Eat. So we'll do that. Oh. So you're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs, huh? <laughs> How sad. Look here, dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back into that hole you came through. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. Besides, even if you could find any eggs, our expertly trained armies would hunt you down and take them back. Do I make myself clear? If I find you here again, I am going to be very angry. And you won't like me when I'm angry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very angry. So in case you don't know what Spyro is, uh, it's an old school platform, collectathon. Gotta, gotta get all the good stuff. Worlds, there's, let me think here, one, two, three, four, four normal worlds, a character world, and then a speedway. And in this game, there's Sparks Worlds as well, per level. Um, I usually like going for the characters first, because usually they have levels within, so like, the characters have like their own levels, but then you also have, they also have um, like s missions within the small worlds that give you eggs. So it's always just a good idea to unlock them first, so that way you're not just, you don't just have nothing. And then go back into a world that you didn't actually need to go back into later on. It is it. A then Y or X then triangle or whatever. Mm-hmm. The top button then the bomb button. That's 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 the easy way. I'm late for a dinner party oh, good at the sir. Tiki Lodge, and the portal to my home just stopped working. Maybe the portal will reactivate after a few more dragons hatch. Uh huh. So, but how did your portal work if dragons weren't here in the first place? Like dragons haven't been here in. A very long time based off the fact that it's called the Vergon World and they'll also mention that later. And somewhere. I don't remember where it gets mentioned, but it gets mentioned somewhere. Uh this room will take you to the next world once you've beaten all the levels. You have to beat all the levels because you need the characters. Uh it's inverted swimming. Got it. I'll remember that. I got Bruce. You doing, Bruce? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, every level has a certain amount of gems and eggs. Homeworlds have 400 gems and 5 eggs, minus the last homeworld, which has 6 eggs. Um. Yeah. 
and then uh, each home world or not each home world, each world. There's four worlds. Well, technically five, but there's four main worlds. Uh, the levels within the main worlds each go up a hundred gems first. Like this one will have like 400 gems per level, and the next world will have 500, 600, 700. Uh, let's go over and talk with Hunter. I think I have everything besides what's over here. I hope. The thing is that with updated graphics, some of the gems. Found one of those portal thing in the jigs that leads to a different world, but you'll have to glide to get across to it. Press the jump button, then press jump again while you're in the air to glide. Just follow me. I saw something I shiny in that saying. cave over there. Let's go check it out. You can get there by hovering. To hover, just press the action button at the end of your glide. Mm hmm. I missed my jump. Well, isn't that sad? Oh, I was talking about the gems in the grass. Yeah, with the updated graphics, some of the gems are hidden very well in this uh, in this grass. I remember. Oh, I missed the gem. <laughs> I think I missed that gem last last time I played this. I've only played this game. This is the second time I'm going three spire with three, but I think the first time I missed that gem too. I remember I missed a gem. I talked to Hunter again, didn't I? Well, ain't that sad. It's the saddest of sads. To get the best glide disc. Yep, I'm I'm well aware of that Hunter. Oh, I almost forgot. I found this egg. <laughs> Thanks, Hunter. Not like we're looking for these or anything. It's like if we if this like this, it's the same thing that in like fly power up Spyro. Whenever you walk through any power up that looks like this one, it will allow you to fly for a while. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the same thing as in like Spyro 2 as well, where it's like when characters that are trying to help you are like withholding important items from you, it's like, well, I mean, I understand game logic and all, but but why wouldn't you just like we, we, we need this. Why wouldn't you just give me what what we need? Uh, okay, we should be good because that should be two. Yep, we got everything. Woo! I almost missed that too, Jen. And then this is also inverted. Um, I'm just gonna go for the egg, but then I'm gonna do this again because there are some extra lives you can get. Amy with an eye. I think it's the same way it's spelled in Crash, is it not? I might be mistaken, but I believe that's the same way that Amy's spelled in Crash. Alright. Oh, oh. Let's get up here. And we got the life. So any butterfly that's in a jar like that is a life, but we are going to unlock Sheila Spyro. now. My, my, how funny to see you here. Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. <laughs> well, my business went into a slump after you left, so I came here and struck up a nice deal with the local sorceress. Lovely woman she is. Seems to be very fond of dragons too. I'm getting yes, paid a very fortune to keep Sheila the kangaroo locked up. <laughs> this pesky animal must have been causing a lot of trouble for that poor sorceress. I suppose I could accidentally let the kangaroo escape if you were to pay me, say, a small fee. Small fees, indeed. Ah, Three hundred gems. Spyro, I guess I so. I love your sweet naivete. Your kind-hearted nature might be your downfall someday, but for the time being, it's making me rich. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I uh, hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. That's good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. Yeah. <laughs> I 
reckon you be one of them dragons then? Yeah, name's Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah. And the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out of the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit anytime you like. Yeah, it's kind of sad to think that these portals are just slowly but surely... Which, I mean, I guess if you're talking... I mean, a thousand years is a long time, first of all. But, like, when you really think about it, I guess it makes sense. Because the majority of the later worlds just don't, like... There's a lot of egg requirements in the later worlds, so it's like, yeah, a lot of those probably... Probably are just gone, you know? <laughs> like... It's just, it's just funny how they're just... They're just gone. Um, I don't remember all the egg requirements per level. I'll try and... I'll try and see if I remember it. I might have to look some of the later ones up, but I definitely know, because obviously... Thanks again, Spyro. Now I have to find out what that nasty sorceress has done to my home while I was locked up. Yep. Hiya, Sheila. While you were gone, a bunch of Rhinox kicked us out of our houses. It's okay, though. Bobby, Pete, and I are working on a clever plan to take them back. Uh-huh. Um... God, they made me forget what I was talking about again. What was I going to talk about? I know it was something plot related, I just cannot tell you what the hell it was. Yeah, so the way it works is that if you jump and then you press jump right as you land on the ground, like if you jump and then jump, when you land on the ground, then you get like a mega jump with Sheila. Uh, and then for me, B, it's B because I bought an Xbox, but B is kick. Uh, A's jump, and then I think you can ground pound. Yeah, you ground pound you just the same. You can really steep cliffs like this one with your double jump. Press the jump button, then press it again exactly when you hit the ground to do a double jump. Once you've mastered it, you can go anywhere you want. I was talking about eggs, but... I don't remember... What I was... Ah, home at eggs. last. Here, I was saving this to make an omelette, but I think you deserve it more. Please don't make a dragon omelette. I would prefer all these dragons to remain intact. Um, and then I guess since I haven't mentioned it, the gem color, so a red one is one, a green one is two, a blue is five, a yellow slash gold, whatever color you want to call it, is 10, and then a purple is 25. Um, and then character worlds are... tend to be... oh, and then X is K. As well. I guess I should mention that. That is... For attacking. Um, character worlds only have three eggs as well as the speedways that we're going to get into. Oh, I was just talking about the thing. So yeah, so the one with the geeky dude is 10 eggs. There was a seal I didn't talk to. I'll go talk to him. Uh, and that is 14 eggs. And then there was a speedway that we went up to. I don't know if... I like your breath looked at it or not, but that one is 20 eggs to unlock. 
which you'll get before you finish this world, because there's only one level that I think of that we're not gonna be able to complete. Also be careful because you can get trapped behind him. Takes this egg and smash it on Billy's house, okay? I need to get him back for the last time he butted me off the cliff. Can we can we not cause harm to these dragon eggs, please? Dragon doing the chicken dance. That's you know? I you know? We we call that a win. Um, in order to beat this area, you have to destroy all of their mushroom houses. I don't know why Rhinox live in mushrooms, but you know what? We don't question it. I guess you have to hit the ground twice. Um, because if you... Uh, because if you don't, then they'll just infinitely respawn, which is not good. At all. We don't like that. Uh, I don't know if I am at gem wall. Well, I don't know if I'm close to where I need to be gem wise, I guess is more what I should say. Also, this game does give a lot of lives. I wouldn't consider this one extremely difficult. It's by far the easiest of the trilogy, but it, it, it'll have its simple parts, especially with the uh, whatever the skill points. The skill points are very difficult. If you ever forget how to control a character or vehicle, just go to the pause menu and select controls. Thank you, Zoe. I, I appreciate you. It's probably gonna be that chest with like the least amount of gems in it. Uh, I'm missing something. Yeah, I'm missing one. Ain't that just dandy? Now I gotta go through the entire level again to find this one gem I'm missing. Thanks for that oh, I'll talk to you yeah. first, I guess. You have this egg I found in my house. These Rhinox are very smart. I'll just state that. Yeah, and then once you unlock the last egg of a world, um, it'll make the return home portal. Just like in uh, Spyro 2 with the talisman. Because the talismans used to be like, in the first two, Worlds of Spyro 2, you'd have to get a talisman in order to exit, or else you just have to beat the main mission in the third one. Third world. Home world. Mission. Uh, or something red, so that shouldn't be too terrible. I, I forgot to destroy this boulder. Well, that, that makes sense. Um, and I think you can probably just exit the world, but I just like going through the exit portal. I'm not gonna make this jump, but I'm gonna make that jump though. And yeah, we going home. I'm a flying kangaroo. And now I'm a flying dragon. I like being flying Dorgan. Good times. So I should have eight eggs. Yeah? Yes. 
We'll go talk to this old dude before. Um, Do you like the active camera mode? If not, I can set it back to the passive mode. Uh, okay, no. I won't. Thank you, though. I think... Did Hunter used to ask you that? Hunter used to be here. Here I but... was, about to go for a nice swim at Shell Beach, when my portal just up and disappears right in front of me. If you go find some more of those dragon eggs, I bet this portal would start working again. Yep, so this one's 14, and then up there in that building, that's the 21. 20. For that, that portal, not, not 21 eggs. Uh, but we will go to Sunny Villa right now, because that is good time. Oh yeah, and you do need to, if you want 100% this, you do need Sheila to, um, unlock it. I believe this level has our first skill point in it. Um. Yeah, I don't remember at all where most of the skill points are, but I'll probably accidentally get a lot of them. So that's 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 a thumbs up from from me. Oh my! Oh my! Can you help us? Hordes of ferocious rhinox have overrun our town and kidnapped the mayor. Uh huh. That that sounds cool. Oh, there's two skill points in this one. Uh, so the first one is you have to burn all these trees. Um, also, I like how since this is the first level, there's a lot of Rhinox that are just terrified of you and don't want to fight you at all. You know what? I'll talk to you now. Just let me catch my breath, and then I'll kick that other guy's butt. Yep. We showed you, those you two really? bullies. If they hadn't outnumbered me two to one, I'd have finished them off ages ago. Yep, I'm sure you would have. That guy looks very. Yep, you were very terrifying. Yeah, this is the only level, since it's the first, like, actual level, because if, if you're, like, if you're not going for completion of the home world or anything like that, this is the first level that I would say you'd probably just kind of just go into it, just to go into it. Um, uh, yeah. This Rhinox is too big to charge. You'll have to flame him using the attack button. Ooh. Yep, so there's some enemies that you can only flame, some enemies you can only charge. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't remember if I said it, I, but um, if I didn't, uh, there are portals to like separate mini games. Slash, so there's a Sheila thing up there, and then there's like another mini portal that'll be in this level. But if you go into either of those, then the trees will reset. So if you are going for the trees, I do just suggest getting the trees. Early. Getting them first, and then once you're like finished with most of the level, then you can go back and do those. But yeah, this is gonna be a good time. I don't know how far I'm gonna make it today. It's already one o'clock. Um, I should make it through the first world. Good being the key. Um, yeah, so what happens is that uh, so there's actually. Come on in! Sheila! 
Um, but if you do not, I make this. Uh, if you don't have her unlocked, then instead of that, there will be a different sign that uh, the sorceress will have written talking about kangaroos. I'll go into the other level that has a character level. Um, in this home world, uh, we can't unlock it yet, so I'll go and look at that since we have to go past it. And there's another egg over here. And a tree. Miles. Look at that. Now we have enough to go into Molten Crater. Which is what that level is called. I know he said the Tiki Lodge, but that's not the name of the actual level. That's just the name. That's just the place in the level. I think. I don't know. It's 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 a really confusing place. Hi, Pyro. <laughs> Each time a fairy zaps you, like this. It means your progress has been saved. If you get into trouble, you'll return to the last place you got zapped. Thank you. Appreciate it. Not the. Is that a chicken? I don't know what that is. I think that's it's supposed to be a chicken. The fat chicken. Fat mass of chicken. Could have been turkey, but. I, don't know. I think it's a chicken. Thanks for the help, but I think I could have worn him down sooner or later. You guys are very not... I mean, you, you are thankful because I saved you, but like... You're very confident in yourselves for something that you definitely probably could not do. Thank you for rescuing our town! As mayor, I awarded you with one of our famous giant chicken eggs! Hello, Sanders. I'm sorry, that was the ugliest chicken I've ever seen. And it is a chicken, so that's good to know. And then this door, this gate unlocks as well, which would be back to the beginning of the level. Um, we'll probably take. Well, I don't know which way it's gonna be quicker. This should be the last tree. We'll go to this area first. Oh, well, there's a tree, and every skill point gives you life again. We got ourselves a skate park, but before we go to the skate park, I want to collect as many of these gems that I can get. And there will be a skill point here as well. Which we will get. That is, that is... Going for that hundred. What is this game? Hundred and twenty percent? Hundred eighteen percent? Hundred eighteen percent. All right. Spyro Tree's the only one that was a hundred percent. But the other ones, but this one and the first one are really odd percentages. Hundred eighteen or hundred and seventeen? Maybe hundred seventeen. I don't remember. This is such a weird number. For no good reason. Um, that should be good enough. Want to collect everything that I can, and we'll talk hey, to Spyro. Hunter. I found this gladiator training arena that also makes for a pretty cool skate park. Care for a test of your boarding skills? I bet you can't catch all 15 lizards running around here. Just come back if you want some boarding tips from the master. Yeah. Our lizard friends from uh, the Badlands are uh, are back. Oh, so 
Oh no. Oh, I missed a lot of gems, actually. Never mind. I did not get a lot of them. Uh, we'll go up here first. That way I can just get all of these. I Ooh, that was smooth. Uh, oh, I know where I missed them. Oops. Uh, there should be one over here, and if that's the case, then we are good. Yes, we are. You back up at the beginning should be good. One here. We'll just go around. It's fine. Oh no. Hey, that was great! And while you were boarding, I found this in a lizard burrow. Thank you. All right. If you can catch all the lizards before time expires without wiping out, I might be able to scrounge up another egg. It's not going to be easy, though. Get him, the difficult boarding challenge. Really difficult. It's literally probably the exact same thing I just did. It's just I, I literally just can't wipe out and I have to do it in three minutes, which I am very sure I did. Yep. That's the that one that I just did was the hard one because those holes down there are super easy to hit yourself on and lose. Um. That was weird. And we'll go up here next. Okay, I got very lucky. Usually when you hit a wall, it's bad. I'll just go back around this way. And we'll go up here. Um, obviously most of the stuff is pretty simple. You still flame with B and then you still jump with A, but it, you, when you press A at like the top of these jumps, like right here, uh, that's how you just go up. Otherwise you're just gonna go straight past it. Not like past it, but you're just gonna go up and forward like if you're Whoa, on that ramp that was sweet and look there was another egg in the lizard burrow sweet uh-huh you can go for the course record now if you want whenever you hop on a skateboard a timer will start score as many points as you can until the timer expires or you wipe out good luck Yep. Uh, I did not know what the... <laughs> I do not know what happened there, but okay. Yep. I, uh... Yeah, you're not really supposed to learn... Oh, I could have had the crush. Oh, I got the crush that time. Cool, cool, cool. I 
It's like that one's just like not. It's weird. Oh, I overspun it. I need a gulp. There we go. That was a quad, but you know, we won't. We won't talk about it. I think the record's 3,000, but I could be wrong. Well, if it is 3,000, then I just got it. About to find out it's 3,000 or 5,000. The one in the other, the other world record one is super easy. It's 3,200. Okay. Yeah, so that that's pretty easy. You just have to get like the spins and then do like a good front flip move. And um, the twist of the lemon, I just oh, maybe in this version, you know, I'm so used to the OG version on the PS1 that probably in this version, the tree stay burn, even if you go into a world like that. Aha, there is a gem here that I would have been very sad if I'd missed. Need 11. I don't remember the exact number I need, because I know that means I only need 89 gems, but... I don't remember if there's 89 gems in the Shiva area. And also this one has something funny in it. As a kid, I didn't get it, but now I'm just like, oh yeah. There are rhinox everywhere. Maybe I can find some peace and quiet at the top of this tower. Yep. I'm sure you can. Alas, Hello, good I sir. have lost my love. She's being guarded by evil rhinox at the top of yonder tower. Can you rescue her for me? Yeah. I think we can do that for you, Marcos. Hope we can do that for you. This, no, it's the next one that has the... That's the, uh, that's the annoying part about this level, is the guys that push you, and they are up top, and they can be very hard to deal with. Always super fun. Besides that, though, the level is actually pretty easy. This little side level. I mean, I hope that most of the World 1 levels are easy, otherwise it would be, uh... There's actually some challenges in some of them. Yeah, that guy specifically, the first one, if you don't time that right, he is going to destroy you a lot. He can become very difficult to deal with. The design of this area kind of reminds me of Dragon Shores in a way. I don't know, with the water front and stuff. I don't know if it's Dragon Shores now that I'm thinking about it. Here 
you're down, you're down, and you are down. We're all going down. I almost just jumped off because jump can be annoying. Hello, love of Marcos's life. We are here. That is everything because she has the last five. What? Marcos sent you here. I've got a restraining order against him. Oh! Okay. You know? Uh, yeah. Yep, nope, uh, he did not tell me that. And the nice thing is that you can just jump off this tower right over here. I mean, you can also just press start and exit through the exit area. So when you're inside of one of these worlds, you have to exit the area first, and then you can exit the portal, and then you can exit the world. I love how he has nothing to say after you talk with her. It's like, mm, I have no idea what you're talking about. Just a restraining order. And we are done with Sunny Villa. I, I think I, I'm taking this a long way. Okay, so, uh, oh, it tells you everything you need to know. Okay, so, uh, yeah. 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 Flex skill points. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That'll be much nicer. <laughs> yes, I will look them up in my guidebook that they have conveniently put it in. So that way you don't have to actually... That way you don't have to just go online. I might get partway through World 2. I probably will get partway through World 2 because I only have... I mean, I, I actually still have quite a bit to do. And we'll see. I have to get ready for work at some point, but we will see. Is there cutting yet? Yep. <laughs> Look out, Hunter. It's the scary sorceress. I've warned you already. This place isn't safe for small dragons and pussycats. Oh, thanks, but I think we can look after ourselves. Try looking after this. <laughs> Come back when you finish witch school, okay? Say... Is it just me, or is she kind of cute when she's angry? Hunter. She just tried to... Hunter. It's okay, bud. Okay. Um, now I should be able to talk at to last, both these guys. my portal is working again. Come visit me at the Tiki Lodge. Molten Crater. And we'll talk to the seal. Um, I believe if you don't Yay! talk to them. My portal is working. I'll see you at the beach. If you don't talk to them before they are um before uh you get the amount of eggs, then the portal will just be open. Also, when I was younger, it kinda looked like they were hanging. I as morbid as it is, I was just like, yep. I don't know how this balloon works, but I think we can get it working if you bring back someone from each of the other worlds. Yep. And for some reason, Sheila's not coming down. Good for you, Sheila. You you just you just hanging on there. Um. Okay then. Cool. Oh, well, we will go to this world over here next. Try and do the worlds in order if I can. Well, minus the character worlds because those ones are supposed to be like the last things you do well those are like the last on the list in the guidebook which I find very odd cloud spiders 
This has the sun in it, doesn't it? Oh yeah. It's not as I don't think it's as good as the PS1 version, but it's definitely uh it's definitely a thing that exists. Uh, these guys you can only play in and you have to jump over their wing attacks or else you'll just get bone back. Honestly, some of the character design changes I'm not as big a fan of. I kind of like a lot of, like, these guys, I like their ones from the PS1 version a lot more. Oh, I'm not going to say anything? Okay. That's kind of odd, but, you know. If my wings were big and strong like yours, I could easily glide across here. Yeah, it's almost like I had to glide to get to your portal or something. Uh, these ones you can only charge. One more, or was that it? That was it. And there's a little platform down here. Just glide over here. The world design itself, though, is a lot cooler in this ver in the newer version, I will admit. Obviously, compared to a PS1, I, I, I hope it would. The metal armor those enemies this. are wearing protects them from your dragon flame. If you hold down the charge button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. Why? We already fought something. Like, why would I? Wow. The nice thing is that they don't actually do damage to you. Am I not not doing that? Thank you. you no, know, you should get pushed around, but this is this is getting kind of outrageous here, guys. Okay. Yeah, Finny. That one was a little bit chubby. Oh, they're above me, right? I'm like, what the hell? But no, they, they, they are above me. That makes, that makes sense. It's you. If it isn't my favorite dragon, the sorceress has put me in charge of guarding these bellows. However, I might look the other way if I was distracted, counting gems. What? No way you no. do this. What else are you going to do with all those gems? Buy flying lessons? <laughs> that was a good one. I kind of forgot. I, I should try and say no as often as I can because he actually has yes. some pretty good responses. Precious, precious gems. Well then, Spyro, you may now use the bellows anytime you wish. Best of luck on your little egg hunt. Remember, to get your longest glide, Press the jump button at the very top of your jump, and use the action button to hover at the end of your glide. I don't think you have to hover here, but, you know. Yeah, I don't... You're talking nonsense. I mean, you're not talking nonsense, but for that specific portion, that was just an odd place to say it. Generator working again. Cloud generator. That was a dragon egg. The Rhinox 
Ghost must have been using this thing to clog up the cloud generator. Side levels here. Go up this first. I don't remember which one is which, but uh, this is this is this one. Okay, uh, but there's actually thieves in this area too. Thieves, thieves are here. They have eggs. I got them. Got them. Clouds, no rain. That one looks very happy. It fell out of the belfry. Sure, I'll take Jake from A. Ooh. Go back down, we'll go through this portal. Oh yeah, it's a cool dude. Um, we are gonna collect. We are gonna go through this area first though before I actually start. Because it is a good idea to do that. I personally like doing it. Because you don't, you're not really gonna have time to do it. Just kind of stop and flux. All these gems. Should be used less than a hundred. I'm guessing. If there are any on the high route, I can probably get those on the way. So that's actually where you have to go. Our sun has gone out! We can make a new one with our lava fusion cauldron and three sun seeds, but they keep burning out before we can get them in the pot. Step on the switch to get a fresh sun seed and keep flaming it until you get it into the pot. Mm -hmm. And if you don't do it fast enough, then they uh, disintegrate into nothingness. Well, they burn out, I think, is the explanation. Or, no one, no one, far one. <laughs> Only one more to go. Yeah, it's kind of like easy, normal, hard. Kind of like the first one's easiest, second one's a little difficult, and then the last one. The most cool. Uh, 
Oh yeah. They're gonna... The three sons, cool sons, are gonna form into one big... Oh yeah, look at that dude. Oh yeah. Now that's what I call a son. Here, you can have this last sun seed as a souvenir. Think it might be a dud though. Yeah, that's not a sun seed. Just got one more egg, which is up there. Now we can go back to that platform that didn't have anything important on it from earlier in the level. Back, back over here. Uh, oh, it's over here. Because now that the level's beaten, this thing is activated. I don't specifically know what part, why, what, what that's powered by, but you know, it's something that the level powered it, so. Ow. That hurt. I'm dead. I, I am dead. That's, uh, that's a no-go. Wow. I'm good at games. In case you didn't know. We're back. And I'm not where I want to be. I'm gonna go ahead and get the checkpoint. That's just for that. In case that does happen again, I'm not going all the way back here. This checkpoint. That one, that one right there. That should have gone the first time. Make sure I make that jump for sure. That wasn't as close as I actually thought it was. I'm missing gems! Woo! How many am I missing? I'm missing six? That's a lot of gems. <laughs> okay. That's a cool rainbow, but uh, that's uh, that's that's some gems I'm missing. Go back to the level first, I guess, and then if not, then we'll, uh, that's not where I want to go right now. Six gems, huh? Uh, Miss gems on this level, so that's, that's not very nice. Oh, come on. Come on. All right. Uh, and I got stuff down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Else up here. Cool, cool. Okay, apparently I missed a five here. This doesn't pick it up when you hover over it. That's cool. Um, and that means I'm just missing a red gem somewhere. Not cool. I was kind of hoping they were going to be together. If that was an enemy, then that's probably what I missed. 
don't think I missed anything in the area I was just at. That doesn't make sense. Yep, I missed an enemy. Okay. No, I did not. I did not at all. That would that would make sense. Uh yeah. Okay. Thankfully that wasn't too bad. Could have been a lot worse. Could have definitely been a lot worse. Also do the speedway, which we'll do that before we go on to the next world, even though we are going to come back here at some point. Because we actually cannot finish Mold Crater 100% because we need a character from a future world that we have not unlocked yet. But I think I'm just going to go and grab everything from the level now that I can, and then I'll just come back later. Um. Because it works just as well. Rhinox are running rampant around here, but I can't get anyone out of the Tiki Lodge long enough to do anything about it. Yep. Uh, so this is the first instance of a chest that has a key, so if there if you see one of those then that means there's a key somewhere in level that you have to find. Um They're usually decently hidden. Um but not too hard to find. I actually never looked out here. This is actually really cool. That's really cool. I do not want that. There are a lot of enemies here. I thought I missed that jump. There's just a lot of gems that are coming out of nowhere. Be sure to keep your friend Sparks the Dragonfly healthy, Spyro. If his health is low, torch a little creature like the slug below me to release a butterfly. Mm-hmm. It's kind of interesting, actually, now that I think about it, is that... Because when I think of a fire slug, I think of Slugma, but this game came out before Slugma Pokemon. I'm pretty sure, actually. No, that's a lot. Like, I was in not this version of the game, but I'd have to look up when Spyro 3 originally came out first. Slugma is a Gen 2 Pokemon. Ow. That hurt. Here, take this egg. 
They were giving them away at the Tiki Lodge last night. Uh huh. Yeah. Sergeant Bird is currently on an important mission to the inside of a cage. Tough luck, the sorcerers. Well, that's unfortunate. Spiral, you're just in time. I saw two egg thieves run through this door. Well, actually, they paid me to guard their hideout, but that's irrelevant. I'll happily let you through the gate to chase them down for a small finder's fee. Hmm. Thank you, Spiral. 300 champs. Oh, I was supposed to say no. Egg thieves. Oh well, I don't think that one's particularly... There's some that are definitely better than others, I don't know that one specifically, but... this place which is a skill point and then there's a life in the skill point so it's two lives for some reason right, let's hunt down well let's grab these gems first Catching up. Holy but surely. Oh no. I thought I had him. Nope. Probably did not have him there. Okay. Damn yeah, man. Yeah, man. How did that one not hit him? This is supposed to be the easy one too, so uh, yeah. I'm at a terrible spot, so I couldn't just run back up to catch him. I don't think I run particularly faster than him. There we go. Moira. Why the audio skipped, but that's okay. Now he's turned on the supercharge. Did the thief spawn or did it glitch? I don't think the thief spawned. Hey, there goes another one. He was really fast. Maybe if I activate the supercharge, you'll be able to catch him. That was a weird glitch. But she's there now, so... Got 
Yeah, this one you just have to charge into, I think. I don't think that flaming him is really an option. Kermit? Yeah, Kermit! And that's how you have to open that. Sometimes there's like rockets in places that you can shoot the rockets and then they'll go and blow up the chest, but for that one you there isn't. You just had to run into it super fast. Much easier in this game to find because the camera's much easier to control. That should be everything in this area. Got everything on the thing. Got everything over here. And yeah. Fire. And it's the key. Wow. Yep, and then go there because the chest is over here. What's up, Shadow? How you doing? Yeah, work, work sucks. I'm trying to enjoy my time before I go to work. Got about an hour left. We we'll have to get ready. But today should be pretty slow. Yeah, today should be a pretty slow day though, because Seafood restaurants I don't really feel like are a popular destination on St. Patrick's Day. I'm gonna... That one was a life one. Okay, that's cool. We'll go to Seashell Shore. I I'm sure we'll have people there, but I don't I don't think it'll be too many. Well, I'm I'm sure there'll be some people, but not not many. While I was gone, my friends borrowed the Rhinox submarine. Then they took it for a joyride. Um, I work front of house. I do Oddly like enough, everything the in the front of house, so I do. I, I do a lot. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think the Rhinox have a have a logical. <laughs> they have a good reason to lock up your friends. Oh, that's an enemy. Oh, it's right here. There's the submarine. Ow. Yeah, 
Yeah, no kidding. If you want a quick summary of your progress in a world, you can press the guidebook button to open the guidebook page for the world you're in. Yep. it. You can hover to get more distance when gliding. Just press the action button at the end of your glide. At the end of the level. Okay, come on. There's everything oh, appears Spyro. before the end of the level. Some of my this seal one. friends are trying to take down a Rhinoc fortress. I'm about to go and lend a foot. I love the smell of singed Rhinoc in the morning. Mm hmm. runs out, okay? Yeah! Okay! <laughs> Yeah, we 
got it. Wow! I can't believe I survived that blast. It's a good thing I kept this egg nice and safe in my pocket. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have kept the egg on you. Just, just gonna be honest. That was, that was dangerous. Could have blown up that baby dragon egg. That would have been, that would have been no good. If we're, if we're gonna be perfectly honest here, that's uh, would have made me very not happy. Should be everything in this level. In this part of the level. I hope. Come on. Where did this guy go? I have no clue. Oh, I found him. He, he, he was there. And for the skill point, you need to get this fodder because it's, uh, it's a monkey chicken I guess it seems very chicken -like. but you know what we won't, we won't question it to test our ultra high speed super fluidity tunnel. The good news is that it made it to the end of the tunnel without a scratch. The bad news is that there's no way to get it back out now. The tunnel is chock full of rhinox and floating mines. The only way to retrieve that egg is to defeat every single rhinox in the tunnel. Uh-huh. Why are there Rhinox in this tunnel? Just, just wondering. Asking for a friend. That's a mine. the end of the tunnel right there. Characteristics. From now on, all of our submarines will be egg-shaped. Yep. <laughs> Where do we go? And we're gonna go up now. Ooh, 
the Rhinoch has challenged us to a naval battle. Our speedboat versus his nuclear shark submarine. If we win, we'll get the dragon egg he's guarding. If we lose, we'll have to spend a month doing kitchen patrol. What do you say? Do you want to take on Bluto? Nuclear shark submarine. Okay, good luck. Just remember, stay away from the sharp end. Nuclear shark submarine. Uh huh. Boxes. I'm literally not hitting a single box right now. Oh my god, this is. Wasn't that hard, but you know, yeah. I, I I've, I've seen harder. this level as a kid I was so confused on where the gems were because I didn't realize you could come back and, like actually explore that this specific part of the area after you beat Pluto so I was always like how the where, where are all these gems where where they're supposed to be come uh, back everything though oh, we're we're gonna find out if that's everything there's not much left of this level my plan worked that dumb octopus dropped the jail key while he was shaking me now I can free my friends uh-huh Rhinox had this egg in his lunchbox. Oh. Look at that fat little dude. Okay, I missed a lot. That's like an entire area I missed. Like that's not that's not just like I missed like some gems. That's like I missed an entire goddamn area of gems. Uh Okay, well that helps a little bit. That was a gem. I I don't I don't really like that, but build a new submarine next time it's my turn to drive uh-huh you have to say driving that submarine was a blast next time we're going to borrow the Rhinox speedboat ok 
Okay, well, I missed, uh... Okay, that makes me feel better. That's 15, and I'm missing 8 now. That's a much better number. if Sal hadn't tried a handbrake U-turn during an inverted barrel roll. Handbrake U-turn during an inverted barrel roll. What the hell is he doing that for? Holy shit. Submarine area or the submarine area, Shiva or I missed it. I don't know. Let's go. Oh. You know what? Are there gems on the land bits that I go up here? What? I don't know if I did. Probably did. Oh, there's nothing in the trees because those can't like guarantee. Okay, well, I missed. I don't think I like that number any better. I'll go back to Sheila and see if I miss something over there. I did though. It would have to be in the main level because the uh, swimming, because the tunnel thing doesn't actually have anything. Sheila can't swim, so there's nothing in the water here. Nice thing about this area is that this is a very quick trap. So if there's nothing in here, then that makes me worry because that means that I missed something 
else entirely. Yeah, no, there is, uh, there is nothing here. Hmm. Kinda wait for the water, I guess. Yeah, cause she doesn't actually swim, so... I don't think they will stick anything in there. Did I not? Did I not beat that guy last time? Thought I did. So that's just five then? Okay, so this is probably just one last gem. I hope. Could just be this main level. Until the Rhinox build a new submarine. Next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing back there. back here. There isn't anything over here, so... Oh yeah, how are you doing, Blue? Probably better than me right now, I'm trying to find this last goddamn blue gem. Something I'm missing.
so they might just, if I can't find in the foot area, I might want to just come back here later. something glitched because I've gone through this level like three times now and I've still yet to find what I'm looking for. I'm back here. There. Not here. Not here. I do not speak French. I'm assuming that's what you are asking me. I do not speak any French. Oh, oh it's literally... That was annoying. My bio is in French. I, I okay. I did not know that. Maybe it's just in French for you. I don't know. I'd have to look at that, but. after stream or this weekend or sometime probably this weekend let's head on over to the balloon yeah I'm thinking I am going to do the speedway first though Actually, check right now. Probably. I don't even have a bio, so I don't... I didn't think I had a bio, but yeah, I don't, I don't even have a bio, so that's kind of interesting. Yep, and we're just gonna go for easy right now. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get all the eggs here. Don't... Oh yeah, the hunter section of this world is really loud. I just remembered that. So are you so do you live in France or do you live where do you where are you from? 
mean, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to, but I'm assuming that either you know French or you're... saucers just came out of nowhere and started blasting up the race course looks like I'll have to hop in my plane and teach him some manners look out sheep here I come just be fire oh that went well Whoa. a bunch of sheep and flock looks like I'll have to look out Kind of wild. Oh Whoa. no! Looks like a look out! It hit my wing. Whoa! Looks like look out! Yeah, this one's. There it is. Check it out. The squad leader had abducted this egg. Tater. Oh, yeah, I didn't even get the egg from the. I forgot I did retry, so I didn't even get the egg from the. Got two for one, technically. Look at that. I would love to race the butterflies, Sparks. There's just three laps, you just gotta be in first by the end, beat the butterflies, yada yada yada. Pretty easy, you can't skip any rings. You can flame the butterflies as well, so I'm down if they're, they're close to you. Ooh, I clipped the inside of that ring. This is a good start. I'm slightly faster than the butterflies. I think it also depends on what path you take. I think sometimes you're faster, sometimes you're not. Last second here. Now I just have to 
catch up with Hirsch, who is right there. Bitch. Uh, this a little weird, but we're going to do it. Because I think on the third lap, first place doesn't go for the series on the outsides. Because otherwise it'd be kind of, yeah. Because otherwise it'd be literally impossible to catch it up. And we in the lead. Can't ruin last place. It's life. And we win. Nope, I'm good. Wow, you won first prize. I got you on. boss and get through world the home world and world two and then I'll probably call it I don't want to go too long. I'd rather go short than long. No cutscene, I noticed. That or hasn't happened yet. Listen carefully, you stupid girl. I'm only going to ask you one more time. Why haven't you disposed of that infernal dragon? I, I've tried to scare him off, your highness, but he's just not afraid of anything. Not afraid? Not afraid? Why have I been training you all these years? Use some magic! Here's a spell book. Whip up a monster and eliminate him! Uh, kill him? I don't care what you do, you useless brat! As long as you get rid of him! Okay, let's see what we got here. Mm, this ought to do it. You can't keep me caged up in here forever! <laughs> you there! Get me out of here! This is unacceptable! You! Come here! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> what the devil? <laughs> I do like how they edited those cutscenes, cause like, the characters used to be in the cutscenes before, but they wouldn't actually say anything, so it's just like, mm. When I heard the sorceress was planning to ambush you, I got here as fast as I could. No worries though, this wussy green toad will be no match for the two of us. Ooh. Yeah, the key for this is old. taking sharp turns. On him. When he puts 
up a fire shield like that, he can't actually... Ooh, that was a good hit. He can't hurt him when he puts up that fire shield. I think five or six hits. I thought he was... Five. Yeah, he's six. Interesting. Yeah, I think no matter what, he's never going to uh, accident get close enough where you can one shot him into the lava. That was odd. I'm actually surprised I did that flawless. No skill points for flawless on the uh, bosses anymore, or speedway times either, which is really nice. Here we go. I kind of like this room because this kind of hints to all the worlds you're going to. Oh no, I'm not going anywhere. You've managed to survive longer than I expected, but you haven't the slightest idea what sort of dangers lie ahead of you. I suggest you grab your cat friend and whatever eggs you found and hightail it back home while you still can. I'm telling you this for your own good, you know. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna ignore you. I found Dave. I kind of forgot Dave was in the water. There is one thing I'm gonna check. I know that that level, the level that's in here, are both available from the start, and then that's the character that you have to buy. Spooky Swamp requires 25, and Boo Terrace requires 30, and then the Speedway should require 36. Alright, please. I want to make sure they're not 35, so uh, I. Yep, it's that one thirty six. Okay, cool. Modesty. And now the country speedway is unlocked. Just like that. I already have all the levels in World Two ready to play. Hey Spyro! Zoe told me that if we hit that doodad up there, the portal will open. Why don't you try spitting this rock at it?
This is probably one of my favorite levels in the game. Um, I'm not gonna go in there yet, but it's it's a it's a cool level. I like it. Go and do it more obviously once we're uh, next time. I come back. I don't know when that'll be exactly. Next Thursday at the latest. Probably before Thursday though, I'm thinking. Probably Sunday. Probably Sunday. Angus. Kill. Okay, let's get this AP wherever he is at. He is here. Cool. Actually, flamed. It's... There we go. Got Trixie. Uh, that chest requires the super flame power up, which we will go grab once we're done exploring all these areas. Unlock Sergeant Bird as well. That is his name. Ah, my good friend Spyro. The sorceress caught this naughty bird letting off rockets in her fireworks factory, but I'm willing to release him into your custody. Provided you pay his outstanding fines. Oh dear, Spyro, you really should pay up. I think he's pining for the fjords. Ah, my good friend mm -hmm. Spyro. The sorceress caught this naughty bird. Ha <laughs> ha, what a sucker. Uh, that is, it's a far, far better thing you do today, Spyro, than you have ever done. And, uh, well, so forth, etc. You get the idea. Yep. Sergeant Bird, 90068. Awaiting orders, sir. Um, I think you'll have to find your commanding officer for that. Hey, what are those things? These are the latest military hardware. PBX-9 rocket launchers, state-of-the-art. So why didn't you use them to escape? Uh, because, because I have limited ammo, and I wanted to conserve it for this. <laughs> Say, where'd you come from? I thought dragons had all been dead for a thousand years or something. Well, the rumors of our extinction were slightly exaggerated. We just wanted a little peace and quiet. Well, if it's peace and quiet you want, you should stay clear of my homeworld for a bit. I reckon I'll be blowing up Rhinox for weeks. Cheerio! Uh-huh. <laughs> so I was like, oh, that was a cool dude. I like him. Um. The third world is the one world that I don't entirely remember all the egg counts for. Um, like how many eggs you need. When you see ladders or walls that look climbable, just jump onto them and you'll grab them with your claws. Thank you.
And also, Sergeant Bird, the, the, the complete lie that you, uh, have one, well, I mean, maybe he does, but he definitely don't in, in his levels. Uh, it's it's the third one. It this is uh, Year of the Dragon. Uh, the 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 reason for uh, third third times the charm because it's the, the third game in the trilogy. Came in and had a really bad time because I'm about to get off. Or so uh, tough luck. So I gotta get ready for work. This is a super flame power-up. You'll find more just like it scattered throughout all the worlds. Why don't you try this one out by using it to break all these planters? I think I saw Rhinoch hide an egg in one of them. Yep. I just obliterated that rabbit and uh, ended up giving me a life. I got map. Thirty-nine eggs already. That's a pretty good number. But yeah, this is a uh, year of the dragon. I drove him for like a specific name. Should be everything. Well, I guess we're going to be here for a little bit. Okay. Let's find the screen gem. I don't trust these underwater areas at all. there. Nothing there. Nothing there. This grass is, uh, this, this grass is terrible. Perfectly honest here. Nothing over here. Okay. Fantastic. Well, um, did it save? I'll go find it. 
They probably saved as soon as they got the last gun. Oh, there's a Zoe up here, isn't there? Cool. There was. Alright, well, with that, I am gonna be getting off, because I have to get ready for work tonight, so I should be back Sunday. Sunday. Thank you, everyone who did stop in. I do greatly appreciate it, and uh, I will talk with you guys later.